Okay, so this is the webcam that my wife got me for my birthday and this is the first time I see this brand called Nuts. So let's take a look what are the capabilities of this purportedly high image quality webcam. The box advertises this as a 2K uh, resolution camera with wide angle and the privacy cover. It is working through USB and you don't need any drivers for it. So this one comes with the dual microphone, stereo microphone, uh, has autofocus and has this nice little slider for your privacy if you don't feel like unplugging your webcam every time you're not using it, you can just use this cover. On the bottom there is a fitting so you can put it on a tripod if you want to but of course it fits perfectly fine on top of any kind of the flat screen monitor that you are using with your computer. And I am very surprised because I was not expecting to be able to find this kind of uh, resolution for a webcam which is actually better resolution than the Handicam I got because my impression was and uh, which this is what I heard from other people saying that most of the webcams are made mostly for like web conference so they don't put really the good kind of uh, cameras in that. But of course where else would you find high quality camera like this if not in Korea where the distance learning became a big thing during the pandemic and uh, people really put an effort in trying to make as high quality educational materials as could they could so they had the demand for this higher resolution camera. Okay, so this is the camera scaled down to the well, 720p size that I usually use in my videos. And you can see that, well, it's much better quality than my previous one, but as you can see, the autofocus is uh, kind of going crazy here sometimes. But also, let's check the stereo microphone. So this should be on your right and this should be on your left. So after switching from speaks to RNN noise for the noise suppression and adding some compression here to enhance the basic uh, loudness of this uh, microphone, this is what we got. So let's get back to the picture part of our camera here. So the autofocus on this camera works, but it is kind of uh, searching for the focus quite often. You can see it's a little bit glitching around my background, especially when I am even move the slightest. So what we can do is I uh, can go to the OBS settings. So in the OBS camera settings, I can actually do the focusing myself. So down here we can turn off the autofocus and let me remind you that this I had to uh, install zero additional software so this camera was just plugged in and this is how it works under Linux without anything so you can basically use the tools that come with your software like OBS to change the focus and you can see like if I pull it to the back you can see that how sharp my doorknob is in the background and if I move the focus in the other direction, so I can kind of focus on my face around here. So I guess, uh, yeah, we can kind of find an optimal focus distance. But if I want to show you the box of this camera, then I will have to bring the focus closer and look how close I can literally put this just in front of the camera. So the distance here is about five centimeters and I can still get focus. Quite amazing if you need to ever show anything through your webcam. But of course, mostly we want our face <laughs> to be in focus here. And let's uh, do some tests with the resolution. So now this is down to 720p, which is the native resolution of the video, but not the native resolution of the camera. So let me, let me just uh, zoom into my face so we get the native resolution here. Okay, so this is the native resolution of the webcam. So here I am zoomed into the inside of the picture inside of the image that is actually <laughs> so pixel to pixel reproduced to the 720p. Okay, so this is the image quality that you get 
if you actually try to uh, downsize it to the 180p resolution, I think it's quite good. I was very satisfied with what I've got in the uh, 720p downsize, but I know a lot of people like to produce higher resolution videos and sometimes I will do that too, but here now I am set up for the 720p, but this is basically like got the 720p uh, slice cut out of the 180p or 1080p rather, so 1080p uh, resolution. It's cut out in the middle, so this is like the pixel to pixel for that one. So besides the wacky nature of the autofocus, I really found this camera good quality. Well, in my case, I only got the Korean language description for it, but I guess if you buy it in an international circulation, you probably get the English language for it, but you don't really need it because basically it's just plug and play and you don't need any drivers for it. You don't need any specific proprietary software for it. There is nothing else. It is just the camera itself and it just works. So I hope to use this webcam a lot in the future, in my future videos. And uh, well, if my impressions will change a lot from this first impression, I will let you know. But until then, see you in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe for more and give me a like if you enjoyed what you've seen. And of course, you can leave any questions and comments down below. See you. Bye.